Jones on the inside controls the pace at the outset and we're green and Butcher comes across the nose of Jones, wants the inside line, but Jones has nothing to do with it. It's tap and a run. Jones wants the inside line and has the horsepower down the front stretch to stay even. Butcher leads lap one. Butcher has led each and every of the 24 laps so far. He'll lead lap 25, but he might not be leading 26 because Roderick's ready to make the move. Cole Butcher has led the race from the outset. To the inside now goes the Mississippian. Casey Roderick off of turn number two with a textbook move. We'll take the lead in the Clyder Memorial 200 off of turn two. Five laps ago, we talked about this three car battle. Pollard was the last of the three. Now he leads the three cars. Now make it four off the corner for seventh. Pollard seventh. Swalich hanging on for dear life. It is inside the freight auctions. Number nine of Chase Elliott. And here comes Steven Nessie in the 51. How big of a deal is this? Bubba Pollard almost made it three wide. He does it again here and a big run. The back half of the top 10 on the inside, that white nose. That was Bubba Power looking three wide again off of turn four. So again, but, he looks inside of Jake Finch. Bubba Pollard trying to make the move right inside the top 10 up front. They've singled out top three, nose to tail, single file, but it's still pretty wild right behind him. They'll have to make some adjustments under that first pit stop. Jones right now running in eighth. Steven Nassi about to take it away and up front. The lead battle heats up to the outside. And in the lead, what a move by Casey Roderick. As the stage flag waves for the leaders, we watch that battle heading down into the third corner and into turn four now. As Sergi able to pull it off on the 44 of Connor Jones. Roderick on the outside of control. To the line they come. Here comes Ty Majeska, the defending champ. Can he lead the lap? That's worth five points from the overall championship. Not that lap. It's still Roderick at the line. Both drivers up the track a little bit, but giving each other room off the second turn. Look at Majeski. What a great run on the inside lane. Not able to clear the 26 of Roderick quite yet, but Majeski trying to lead for the first time tonight at the line. Bonus point. Jeske. A lot of respect there. You see Roderick really kind of having to do one more tug on the wheel. He wanted the inside line to Majeski. He gave him probably a foot more than he really should have, but that's full respect among two veteran drivers. Let's race for it. If you got a better line on the inside, I'm going to try my best to give you some room. I'll give you room back. Right there, Majeski close to the door, though. He gets the word clear from his spotter, Mike Herman Jr. Field slowing down in turns three and four. Good news there, getting ready to climb out. It has been a tough day and a tough World Series for Derek Griffith as he goes over toward the Van Meter ride. Not happy is Derek Griffith. He's doing more than just talk here. He is really upset. Van Meter's car got in the wall after contact there. Howard is developing his own racing line. He's on the very bottom of turn two on exit, comes into turn three, gets it right down on the yellow line again with the left side tires. That's where the car wants to be, and Bubba's going to put it where he feels most comfortable. We're talking about comfortability in the race car. He's got it. He's got the move. He's got the pass. Completed. Great speed shot from the start to finish line. We see a car get side. Mm. Oh, man, that's Dawson Sutton getting hard into the wall before the start to finish line. Steven Nassi for the four spot. Outside lane. Highest position during the course of this race so far for Nassi as he races with Brent Cruz. Right behind the top three. Hard into the wall went Nassi. Touched wheels of Brent Cruz into turn one. It happened in an instant. Yeah, that was just been cleaned up after the last restart. And Majeski a bit sideways off of turn four. Spins the tires, got sideways. That allows Pollard to stay alongside through one and two. Majeski clears him off the corner. Look out! Right behind him, sideways, and what a save! How in the world did he save it? Not going to stop Chase's move forward to get everything out of that number nine in the planet. Closing moments here, the Clyde Harbor Memorial 200. This is the battle for seven. Nace on the outside. He finished fifth year in points a year ago. A lot of laps and a lot of big races. Chase Elliott's won a bunch of big races before turning his attention to full-time NASCAR. Back to race in Supers. A great show for the fans here at New Smyrna Speedway. Chase Elliott has been in a lot of side-by-side -side battles throughout the course of this 200-lap race. 20 laps to go for Ty Majeski and Bubba Pollard and their nose to tail down in one and two. He took that line this time in turns one and two. Majeski rolls through the corner like nobody's business. Year upon year, track upon track, his corner speed has been superior. Pollard matching that tonight. Right here, center off. 
Pollard to him. Right to the rear quarter panel. A touch and go. Pollard with just the ever so slight nudge will take the lead. Majeski closes the gap through three and four. Does he try to return the favor? He can't get there. Bubba Pollard out front. Lap 183 is the leader of the Clyde Hart Memorial 200 from New Summer to Speedway. He got the still for winning in North Wilkesboro. Will he get the white cop for the Clyde Hart Memorial? We'll find out in half a mile. Takes it off of turn two, clear racetrack ahead, races off into the third corner. The Sonoya Georgia driver brings it to turn three. To the finish line, Bubba Pollard has proved the best of the best tonight. Bubba Pollard wins the Clyde Hart Memorial 200. His second ASA Stars victory and his 36th career Southern Series victory.